Welcome back to 15th Street Automotive. Uh, today we're working on a 2008 F-350. Uh, customer states the uh, truck lost power uh, this weekend when they were towing their trailer. Uh, check engine light came on. Um, so uh, I just pulled it in. Uh, check engine light is on. Um, doesn't run bad, but uh, it might be something that uh, comes on after it gets warm. Uh, so we're going to get into this one, take a look at it, scan it, and then we'll figure out what's wrong with it. We're going to start by checking uh, for codes in this thing. It's got a check engine light on when it's running, so uh, uh, we will check for codes. Fault scan. Oh, there's two codes in the PCM there. Ah, cylinder six injector circuit. Uh, and then a P1000. P1000 is just because it, uh, when you uh, scan for codes, you don't go through the proper, the whole procedure. It is uh, sets a P1000 that's not something we're going to be concerned with and I'm not terribly concerned with these other codes right now uh, that's it yeah so we're just going to go after that P206 cylinder 6 injector circuit um, let me start it up I want to go back to power distribution or power balance and see if maybe maybe if we have a current misfire on this thing now. The thing idles really nice, so it's not currently a misfire, uh, but uh, an injector will come on at higher RPMs, higher load, higher temperatures. Uh, so, you know, the question, if it's questionable, if it's starting to fail, um, usually it won't be at idle. So I'll bring the RPMs up, keep an eye on that graph. Oop, oops, we got a couple blips on number six there. Okay, so we're dropping out slightly on two and slightly on six. Uh, and those are both on the same bank. So we've got a constant drop. It's not much, but it is definitely lower power power uh, balance than uh, the rest of the cylinders. There's six and two. So we're definitely having an issue with those two injectors. So let's do a, we're going to do a relative compression test on this thing just to ensure that uh, we don't have a mechanical problem. I don't think we do. That's going to usually show up when it's idling, but uh, <coughs> but it's an easy test to do while we're sitting here in the driver's seat. Yeah, it turns over really smooth. I don't expect to see anything with a relative compression test. Uh, yeah, cylinder eight's four percent. That's not, nothing to even be concerned with. So, yeah, it's not a, it's not going to end up being a mechanical problem. I think we got a, an injector that's starting to crap out on us. I suspect our problem is with the uh, with the injector or possibly the harness. They have problems with the uh, 
uh, valve cover, in valve cover uh, harnesses for those injectors. Um, so here's the schematic for that, the injector system. Uh, all eight injectors here. We're concerned with six and actually probably two as well based on our power balance test. So those are both on the same uh, valve cover under the driver side valve cover and that's the connector that goes into the valve cover. Uh, but that thing's tough to get to. It's actually easier to get to the uh, uh, connector at the PCM. Uh, that's right at the firewall. You pull the uh, uh, air filter box out and you got access right to it. <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to gain access to that connector right there and check resistance of these uh, injectors here. And I could look up the specs on this thing, but you know what? I'm going to have uh, injector 4 and 8 right there as well and I can check those uh, resistance and, and my 6 and my 2 should be close to what 4 is so I'll just check uh, check number 4 and then bounce off injector 2 and injector 6 from that but I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get this access to this injector or this uh, harness here uh, connector on the PCM and then we'll go from there the uh, connector for that valve cover that to get those injectors is right in there center of the screen right there is that's the, the connector there's a little, little rubber boot that covers it but uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to if I'm gonna come out here you can kind of see where it's at so not easy to get to but now if we go over here to the where the PCM is those connectors are relatively easy to get to Got to pull that uh, air box out. That'll take me a few minutes and then uh, we get easy access to it. So that's where we're going to go after our injectors. Uh, let me get that air box out of there. Okay, so what happens is these things get packed up with mud and dirt and and they don't want to slide. So what we do is this little plastic wheel here is supposed to drive them in and out, but it just gets wore out and broken and forced and then bro broken worse so if you can't get if this thing doesn't come off like it's supposed to these little wings back here you can pull these out with the pliers get behind them pull one out a little bit out a sixteenth of an inch and then pull the other one out sixteenth of an inch just kind of wiggle them out and you'll get them once you uh... once you get them out you can uh... you can clean all the dirt and debris out of there and if this thing isn't hammered, this wheel deal here isn't hammered. We see it's broken off right there. See, there's a, a center on this one here, and this one here, the center's broke out. So it doesn't want to stay in the in the gears very well. But once it's cleaned out, it works okay. So we should be okay for now. But let's see if uh, we get this connector. See, this one's got the zip tie broken off on it too. I'm going to pull this out. And now let's see if our if our green and white is on number 4 on this one. Number 4. Wow, I can't read that. Let me get my magnifying glass. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be checking injector connectors and those two are connector those two are an injector, those two are an injector, those two are an injector, those two, those two, those two, and those two. So we're just going to be going through and checking the continuity in those injectors across those circuits. And uh, we're looking for between one point, uh, 150 K ohm and 250 K ohm.
All right, we're back uh, on this uh, F-250. Um, I suspected that we had some uh, testing issues with the uh, doing a resistance test on those injectors. The, um, the spec on those injectors is 150K ohm to 250K ohm. Uh, so that's factory information, right out of the factory information. You'd suspect that that's kind of what you're gonna see on an injector that's functioning properly. So, as you can see, I mean, I, I tested every one of those injectors and every one of them, except for two of them, were way out of specs, way out of specs. So, it bothered me, this is the next day, this is, this is the next day after that, doing those tests, it bothered me all night about that, why that spec, uh, I wasn't reaching any of those specs, yet this thing runs pretty good. So, uh... I ordered a new injector, a Ford injector. I wanted to test the resistance of that injector right out of the box, brand new one. And uh, it tested out at uh, 1.5 million ohms. So we're gonna throw away all those uh, tests and all those uh, resistance findings. Uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, I'm gonna lab scope uh, a couple of the injectors. I wanna lab scope six and two. And maybe, uh, maybe one of the uh, ones that's operating right and just kind of and just kind of look and see how that uh, uh, lab scope pattern uh, plays out. Um, I suspect we have two bad injectors, number two and number six, but uh, the resistance test was showing me that I had six bad ones, um, and that's thousands of dollars worth of work that uh, this thing may not need. So we're gonna hit this thing from a little different direction, and then. Uh, uh, see what we find. The test we're going to do to uh, conclusively decide if these injectors are bad or good, uh, really we're looking after number six injector. That's the code we had in there. Uh, but you can see on my setup here, I got the uh, I got the Pico, uh, and I've got it wired up into the PCM. Let me show you how I got it. Uh, so my blue circuit I'm in the power circuits of each of three different injectors so I'm in the blue I'm on number six which is our suspect cylinder in green I have four uh, because that one is is running uh, is seems to be running properly and then two is a questionable injector uh, remember that one was the uh, low power balance um, but uh, so we're looking at uh, six, four, and two, uh, and we're going to watch those on the lab scope. Um, schematic is here. You can see I've got uh, the blue in number six, green in number four, and yellow in number two. So we're going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to set up the camera so you can watch this uh, uh, the Pico on the lab scope, and we'll see if uh, anything comes up uh, obvious. Okay, so I finally got it figured out that uh, what's happening on this thing. Uh, this injector kind of comes and goes, and uh, for the last 45 minutes it's been running just fine. It just started to glitch, and I have proof that it's the number six injector. Uh, I've got the scanner hooked up to the uh, ALDL and uh, on a power balance test, and number six is a dead miss right now. Uh, so I came out here. I've got the lab scope hooked up to number six power, uh, number six injector power, and number six uh, amperage. Uh, so this is what we're seeing here. Let me zoom you in here. So what we have is this is the signals from the uh, computer, the power signal. And if I stop this thing right here. The injector will hit, hit three times, boom, 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 and then boom, boom, boom again. So that's one cycle of that injector. These little spikes is the computer using the uh, injector to create a, uh, a field voltage. Uh, so those are just the computer doing its job. These are the actual injectors uh, actually firing. So. Get this running again. What we have here is the injector, the computer sending the signal to the injector, 
This is the amperage signal. We got no signals on the amperage. That injector is not actually doing anything. Let me move that amperage to another injector that is working, and you can see what that looks like. <laughs> All right, so I stopped this thing to show you. This is what a operating injector uh, amperage ramp looks like. So those are the three spikes. See, they're in the same time as that, that those three spikes. That's on a different injector, though. But this is what it should look like. Our injector has no spikes, which means the injector's not doing any work. Uh, it's getting the signal it needs. Uh, you can see the three spikes, three different lines. Those should be three injections on that cylinder injector. But we're not getting any amperage spikes. Uh, you put it back to the number six injector signal, and you can see that there's no spikes. All right, so now we're running again. And you can see every time that these, uh, the, the, the computer is sending those three signals, we should have spikes right there. Every one of them should line up with that every time. We're not getting any. The injector's not doing any work. So this is the setup that we have going on this thing right here. So this is our power circuit. This is the one that shows us our three spikes. And this is our amperage circuit. So you'll see on the green and white circuit, uh, that's the power for number six injector. Our amp clamp and our spike on our, uh, our probe uh, uh, is showing a good, good signal from the injector. No amperage draw means the injector's not working. This thing's gonna need an injector. What we're looking at here is cylinder number two. I wanted to look at that before we uh, condemned only cylinder six injector because we were having a power balance problem with number two. But you can see here, uh, we got our three signals from the PCM down here, and up here is the amperage spikes of the injector that actually did the work. So that's how it'll coincide with the uh, the amps to the voltage. But that's what we should see on number six. We've got the signals, we don't have any work getting done. So that thing's gonna need an injector in number six.